<laughs> well, paying by debit or credit card is something most of us do several times a day, but every time you do, you're putting your information at risk. Well, CBS 2's Jeff Bond shows us thieves are going high-tech and hands-free. From shopping and dining to groceries and gas, paying by card is a convenience most of us take advantage of every day. But sometimes a simple task of filling up your tank can end up emptying your wallet. It feels like it happens about every three months. Nicole McCormack lives in Tarzana. She says she's had her information skimmed seven or eight times in the last two years, adding up to about $10,000 stolen from her accounts. And even though insurance has covered those losses, it's still a major hassle. My card is immediately shut off. So there I am without my debit card for five to seven days. The worst part of it, though, is I have that tied to so many things these days, um, whether it's an automatic bill pay or a renewal of a gym membership or whatever it is. So now I have to go in every single time and redo all of that. This is the least intrusive and quickest way to take somebody's money from their bank. Orange County Sheriff's Economic Crimes Investigator Matthew LaFleur says skimming can happen pretty much anywhere, but the most popular spots are at ATMs gas stations. This is the home manufactured skimming device you'd find inside of a gas station pump. This would plug in to where the terminal would normally use it and this would plug into the other end at the pay the point system and right there you're you're done that's it. Investigator LaFour says often the thieves are accessing the machines with stolen keys and many have moved on to using Bluetooth technology to transmit your information from the pump to a laptop or tablet hidden in a nearby car. His advice, take a second before swiping. Check to see if anything looks out of place or damaged. And make sure the tamper sticker is intact. Your money's important to you. Take your time and make sure there's nothing suspicious before you give your money away. And while Nicole tries to pay with cash whenever she can, she doesn't believe this will be her last fight with fraud. I'm trying to be careful, but um, who knows where else? Maybe it'll start to happen next. Well, fraud experts also suggest filling up at the pump closest to the cashier. Yeah, criminals are apparently less likely to try to apply a skimmer right in front of the attendant. Now, if you have a story you think Jeff should look into, email checkwithjeff at cbsla.com or use the hashtag CBSLA on social media.